Hello, today we are going to do a making words lesson. I like to call it a mystery word. And here's what I need you to do first. I need you to find a piece of paper. It can be any sort of paper, unless it is the paycheck that your parents got from their job. Do not cut that up, okay? So take a piece of paper, and I just want you to cut a strip of paper like this, and then, Get out a marker or a pencil. And then these are the letters that I want you to write on your strip of paper. So our vowels for this mystery word are going to be A, I, I. And our consonants are going to be C, N, T, T. After you have those letters written on your paper, then you are just going to cut them up. Put them right on this table and then you will be ready to move these letters around to make different letters and at the very end we'll use the letters to make a mystery word so go ahead and pause the video right here get your strip of paper cut up write down your letters and then come on back all right the next thing that you will need is a notebook piece of paper like this make sure your three holes are on your left and you are going to use your, now I'm just gonna use magnetic letters, but you have the letters in front of you. And then you're going to have a notebook also with a pencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is just make a couple easy words, like two letter words. So the first thing that I want you to do is find two letters and I want you to make the word at. I'm just gonna wait a second while you take your letters on your paper and make the word at. Anytime that you want to pause the video, while you are trying to make that word, go ahead and pause it, and I'm just going to keep going, okay? So the letter at, the word at, would be the letters A, T. Hopefully in front of you, you have the word A, T. And now go ahead and add that to your notebook. The word is at. Now, I want you to change the word at. Just change the vowel and just make the word it. So we have at, changing it to the word it. I'm gonna take this vowel away. I'm gonna change that vowel to I, and now we have the word it. Don't worry, it's gonna get harder. <clears throat> now, I want you to change it into the word in. I just gotta change one letter to change the word it into the word in. Let's take that T, hopefully you took the T out of the way, and change it to an N. Now we have the word in. Next, we're gonna to move to three letter words. I want you to add a letter in front of the word in to make the word tin. Pause it if you need to. And hopefully you took the letter T and slid it right into the word in to make the word tin. Now, just change the vowel in tin and you will have the word tan. Take a minute to do, or a second to do that. And change this vowel into the vowel A. And now we have the word, woo, we have the word tan. All right, make sure you have all five of those words written down so we're gonna sort them at the end, all right? Now take these three letters and I want you to make a new word. So again, pause here. What's a new word that you could make with those three letters? I'm going to take this T and move it to the end, and now I have the word ant. All right, now change just one letter, and so you can spell the word act. Like, I'm going to act in the play this weekend. Act. Change that N into a C, and now we have the word act. Hopefully each time you can pause it after I say the word, so that you get, a, get to give it a try yourself and then see what I did, all right? Now these three letters, move them around to make a new word. Pause, make the new word, and then press play again. The new word should be, if I move these letters around, now we have the word cat. All right, now change just one letter into the word can. Hopefully you moved the T out of the way, replaced it with an N, and now we have the word can. Now let's move on to some four letter words. So let's put all of our letters back 
And the first letter that I want you to spell, the first four letter word I want you to spell is the word tint. I put a tint of gray, or a tint of red into the white paint and now it's pink. Tint. All right, hopefully your four letters were T-I-N-T. Go ahead and add the word tint to your list of words on the side. And now let's spell another four letter word. We're gonna change the vowel in, actually, no, we're gonna spell, we're not just gonna change the vowel, we're gonna spell the word tact. Now, if someone has a lot of tact, it kind of means they have like really good manners, all right? So I'm going to ask you to spell the word tact, four letters. And I'm going to think of another word over here that is really gonna help me spell the word tact. Because we already earlier, spelt this word, act, and I can hear that it's still in there, but now I'm gonna add a T to the beginning, and now I have the word tact. Another four letter word, hit. Okay. Now, let's move to some five letter words. Let's use five of your letters to spell the word attic. Some of you might have an attic in your house, like a room up on the roof where you can um, crawl up a ladder to get to the attic five letters so make sure when you spell it that there are five letters pause the video here and see if you can spell the word attic all right so you should have an a t i can kind of hear that word at and then t i c is our first word five letter word attic all right next we're going to do a one just one six letter word and then we're gonna to move to the mystery word. So the six letter word that we're going to spell, actually, you know what, let's do one more, let's do one more five letter word. Let's spell the word antic. Let's see, if you, um, or sorry, not antic, <laughs> my bad. No, it was antic. So was, uh, the teacher might say like, oh, you stop that silly antic, like stop that kind of silly behavior, right? So I see attic, and I think, hmm, how can I spell the word antic? I also see a word over here that might help me spell antic. So think about how you might spell that positive, give it a try, and then turn your video back on. All right, we have, I can see that word ant, and then I also know that attic kind of ended just with that IC. So now we have the word antic. All right, one more five letter word. Let's do the word, no, let's do a six letter word, <laughs> sorry. Let's do the word intact. If you leave something together, like if you have a puzzle and you don't wanna break it back apart, you're going to leave it intact. So think about what parts of the word or these words that can help you spell the six letter word intact. All right, let's give it a try. Definitely hear the word in first, so that word helps me spell the beginning part. And we've already spelled the word tact. So my six letter word, intact, is going to look like that, intact. All right, now for the fun part. Take all of your letters, pause the video, and see what word you can make with all of the letters. All right, here we go. Your first hint, if you have not gotten it yet. Your first hint is the secret word is the name of a boat. Hmm. Okay, pause here and see if you can figure it out. All right, your second clue is that it starts with a T and ends with a C. Okay, all right, ready for the mystery word? The mystery word is a giant boat that got hit by an iceberg, or that hit an iceberg, and sank in the, to the bottom of the ocean. The letters are T-I-T-A-N-I-C. So, uh, whoops, I forgot, intact over here, and then we have Titanic. All right. Now I want you to switch out and grab real quickly. You can pause the video again. Grab a different color marker. We're just gonna do a really quick sort to see which words go together that can help us spell other words. 
normally you would do this part together, but I'm just gonna think aloud and show you how I would sort some of these words. So when I, I can see that in and tin are words that go together. And that in and tin, let's see, what else do I have? I've got the words tan and can are words that rhyme. I see the words, let's do act and tact are rhyming words that go together. And what else would be a good category? I like these two words right here, attic and antic and Titanic, because they all have just that I see at the end. And sometimes in a word like sick or something like that, we want to put a C and a K, but these words are, are a little bit different. They just have the I C at the end. All right. I hope you got the mystery word correct. And I'm looking forward to our next mystery word lesson.